but a d domesticated oh, nice so. rat. Oh, a this is your arrival me. here is well timed. So, but you guys are you expecting me? Who are you? I am Baruch, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent here by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Communication is not very a problem. As for the suspects and I, I have going to handle this case myself, but now that you're here, this will be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you've been learning your lessons from the Academy. Though you're not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you can assist me in throwing out the case from the What, what do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the chief suspects. I have brought an information retrieval droid with access to the archives both of the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer some guidance, but I will not solve this case for you. There is little benefit to you if you do not solve this problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts of the information provided. Once you have gathered all the evidence, you think you need to the cost of scenario with me. If you're unable to come to satisfactory resolution, I'll take you to the Enclave and deal with this myself. Revan, private eye. According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together earlier before the clouds broke. I found that perhaps most people would have seen shelter and doors in the sky filled with dark storm clouds as it was earlier today. That's not the most puzzling aspect of the case. The dead man, Kaldor Nechi, was shot in the back with a cluster rifle. A rifle was found lying near his body with blood stains on it. Has been sent back to the uncle for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Tandor Gold, who was unarmed. The other is Rickard Bookhoff, who was carrying a hunting blazer. Both men said they did not do anything, and that they come across the body, but both officers chased the other. Obviously, there's more to this than what we have told. Man. Is there anything else I should know? There's one last thing. When I arrived, Handon was holding his side and Ricard was favoring one of his legs. You would do well to remember this if you the case. If there's anything else you need, I'll remain here while you question the witch. I said we got them both. Yep, they're both guilty. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek invest. Says, Are you racist? I'm Rickard Lee. You can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? <laughs> uh, should, should I have? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Uh, do we say, did you see the killer, or go on? I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Curse you, manta ray thing! Live killer in that case, hate? apparently. It slowed up the game, and I'd be on one side of the map and go to the other. I could barely get anything done. He's apparently no. shot from behind with a blaster. Alright, get out of my way. Greetings, okay. Apprentice. 
You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Clay from the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold and Nekik, Rickard Lusoff, and Hand and Gold. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Nekik. Is there any information you require? Uh, what did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Uh, tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cap hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Uh, I will have more questions later. Very well. I will be here to assist you. Yes, is there something I can do to help you in this investigation? Uh, I want to I discuss the murder. I cannot resolve the case. No. Yeah. <laughs> we just give up. <laughs> Very well, we just at the beginning. If you find the truth behind each piece of the puzzle, you'll no doubt resolve the case. Hand and said he was nearby and heard a shot and ran over and found the father already dead. He said Rick's mouth is shadow of the rock and he's not sure in the past. It it it's possible Rickard may have shot Calder accidentally and handed him to the body, but that seems like a very unlikely explanation. It's more likely that at least one of them is fine. Interesting, one of these men is not telling us. Where does the key lie? Why do you believe that? It was cloudy, there was no sun glare. Yes, well done. It was very cloudy this morning. It had happened as Richard said. The sun was not killing. He seemed to talk to him and said it's a lie. He seemed to be threatening to me. Why did not Richard is guilty? But I think he has taken the first step at the case. We should proceed on to the next point. We need to find a motive for the kill. Maybe we should talk to the men about the relationship to the victim. Is there anything else you need? Our main character... Man. So, what do you want to know? Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. So, what do you want to know? Oh. Why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable, always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. I'd like to ask you something else, maybe? Or... So, what do you want to know? Baluk said you were limping. Are you hurt? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Okay, I think that's all we had for him. Okay. Right. How can I be of further assistance? Did you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. 
In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation, a very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one said you killed him yet. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Uh, I want to ask you something else. How can I be of further assistance? Uh...